Welcome back gamers. In today's video, we're running through all of the leaks for Apex Legends Season 20. I am not a leaker, so I will link in the description below all of the credible sources of the people that typically leak all this information so you can get that all at face value. Regardless, we're going to keep this under five minutes to walk you through all the potential changes. Usually they're right for Season 20. It's a big deal, very, very big changes this season. Gamer Informer just did an article with Apex Legends. They are not bringing solos to this game. It was teased in season two trailer, but this is a game built off of chemistry with all the legends, so we will likely never see solo queue in Apex Legends. Next on the update, the armors are no longer gonna be dropped in game. This means you won't find a blue or a purple. The way it'll work now is you will rank up your shield as you go on. The gold shield also will be removed from the game. With that being said, in the death boxes, if you pull out a purple or a blue, you'll get that shield, but 25% less of it. So if you pick out a purple, you're going to get three shielded purple. Also, as you level your shields, you will also get legend perks along the way. We don't know if this will be in rank, but it'll definitely be in the game. If you want to, you can pause the screen right here and see some of the potential changes with these legends in the legend perks. Again, not official, but this is what's been shared so far. Next up, looks like the Digi will no longer be compatible with SMGs. So most likely, you're going to be putting this bad boy on a pistol or a shotgun. Next, we know there's a lot of issues with both the 3030 and snipers. So they are bringing out the red helmet, baby. So this should help with people getting one shot a little less often. I think it's a pretty fair assessment to say there should be a red helmet in the game. Also, we get a look at the 2024 anniversary decorations. Again, most of the leakers have several screenshots providing exactly where these will be and on what maps. So you can check that out for what it's worth. They, you know, the bobbleheads, the bobbleheads are back, baby. The bobbleheads are there. Current LTMs, we have straight shot, which is 30 players, fully kitted weapons only, no attachments, queue for the next match while spectating, smaller playable area of BR maps and spawn immediately in location. We also have lockdown, which is a mix of TDM and control and the hunt. It's an event, so we're not exactly sure what the details will be on it. Could be one person is rocking three reds, and the goal is to kill them at the end of the game. We'll see what it looks like, but it could be exciting. I think it's always interesting when they bring in new modes to kind of just switch up that normal solo duo trio queue. There's some screenshots out there, but there is going to be a reactive skin again, and it's going to be the flatline. It looks super dope. I'm not going to sneak peek it here just in case it changes, but if it is the flatline, it's super cool looking. There's gonna be some free gifts for season 20. These are gonna be skins and stickers. A combination of legends right now are Seer, Fuse, Rampart, Mad Maggie, Loba, and Valkyrie. One of the biggest changes, and one I think a lot of people wanted it, are the rank changes are coming back in season 20. The current rumors were going back to a mid-season split. We'll be returning the teammates and enemies rank visibility. We're removing MMR. The promo trials will also be removed. We're increasing the match entry cost removing the provisional matches and then we're adding a top five in a row for a bonus so it looks like they're still promoting finishing the game and winning versus killing so we'll see how that ends up changing the current play style of most people in this game again still think it's a positive change we know the mmr provisional matches for solo players is absolutely terrible looks like next gen consoles will also have an update to 120 fps can't wait to that controller placer one clips me even faster now again most of you are excited about this I'm not. Bring back M and K. We get to use a whole arm. That's what we want. You already know this, but they have removed all the Steam scripts for those controller players that want that crazy movement. They're going to continue adding to Steam to make sure that they are protecting the integrity of the game. I'm all about it. I started late, but it looks like they may potentially be bringing back arenas. Not sure if they are or not. That is the rumor. I've never played them. Maybe let me know in the comments below. Is this something you're excited about? Do you like arenas? Potential heirloom recolor is going to go Octane and Crypto. The next potential Lifeline rework may happen this season as well. Apex LTM 3 Strikes is back. Good or bad? Not sure. It looks like there's a new survival item called the Mobile Teleporter in the files. Not sure what that means, but sounds pretty cool. As of right now, we don't have a new map or a new legend. However, we know the new legend will be named Cave. This is a Skirmisher legend, and the new map potentially will be called Thunderdome. Looks like there will also be one universal heirloom for this season. It's going to be the dagger. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you back here every Sunday with a new dope video. We look forward to season 20.